Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Hello, guys. I thought of bringing this uh, example whereby you need to use some natural logarithms and i thought it can be helpful to you as you prepare for your exams and let us look at this example it's in algebra and the topic is under logarithms it says use natural logarithms to calculate the numerical value of the following and when they say natural logarithms they are talking about lin so in as much as you'll be tempted to say let me use log but natural logarithms deal with lean so when you're given an example like this how do you approach it now to approach this kind of a question the first thing that you need to do is to uh, come up with an equation for example you can say let this or you can say let a be equal to this um expression that is given so a is equal to that uh, now from there you can now use your natural logarithms so the first thing that is important is come up with an uh, kind of an equation you can use a letter and that uh, letter is equal to what you are given um, so once you have come up with an equation like that you can therefore introduce lin and say lin a is equal to lin 1 comma 1 5 squared times square root of 5 comma 4 divided by 6 comma 2 1 so this is how you introduce the lin and I think the right way to write it just to make sure that it's it's involving everything you can write like that so you've got lean on the left and you've got lean on the right hand side now lean and logarithms remember they use the same laws so now how do you work about you continue now to express if you still remember the square root sign is something you need to deal with as well so you can move on to say lean a is equal to lean now it's 1 comma 1 5 squared times now the square root there is same as saying 5 comma 4 remember the laws of exponents it's 5 comma 4 to the power 1 over 2 that is the same thing to say it's a square root is is 5 I mean power half over 6 comma 2 1 now when you're doing that uh, you can then continue to say using uh, the laws lin a is equal to now we are introducing lin on the right hand side you are going to say lin 1 comma 1 5 squared now if it's multiplying remember in lin you introduce plus logarithms and then again you say lin 5 comma 4 to the power half and then when it's dividing you subtract lin 6 comma 2 1 so that is basically what you're doing when you're introducing lin you can simplify now to say lin remember if it's a power you drop it down this particular power here it will drop down before lin as well as half will also drop down before lin so that's what you're doing so that that is uh, the laws of uh, logarithms so it will be 2 lin 1 comma 1 5 
plus 1 over 2 lin 5 comma 4 minus lin 6 comma 2 1 then you can simplify it now and say lin a is equal to 2 now with a calculator you have to find this particular lin 1 comma 1 5 in three decimal places lin 1 comma 1 5 and you can round off to three decimal place you'd say shift setup and then six number six there you fix it to three decimal places it to be 0 comma 140 so this is multiplying 0 comma 140 and then plus you do the same thing with lin 5 comma 4 you round off shift setup 6 and 3 which is 1 comma 6 8 6 and then minus and then lastly it's lin 6 comma 2 1 and again shift setup 6 you are rounding off to three decimal places 1 comma 8 1 comma 8 to 6 so this is now what you are having the next thing says uh, remember they said use natural logarithms to calculate the numerical value so you are going to say lin a is equal to now the next part is to find and the final answer on your right hand side which is 2 times 0 comma 1 4 0 in this case now most of the questions they want you to show the working that's why i'm doing that so don't be tempted um to just find the final answer without showing this working as you might lose some marks so it is important for you to go through the stages of this working so that you can ensure that you got get all your marks six eight six and then minus one comma eight two six so this is uh what you are having if you can just check it again so if you say equal to you're getting negative zero comma seven zero three So that is what we are getting. But now to find the final answer, you have to write it um, as our a. a is equal to. Now you need to remember that lin, the base that is hidden there is e. So it will be a is equal to e to the exponent negative 0, 0,703. So that is the final step that is important. So that you can say a is equal to. And now... You say shift there is our e to the power negative 0 comma 703 and then which is 0 comma 495 you can round up to uh, three decimal places which is 0 comma 495 so that is the value of uh, that ex uh, expression when we simplify it but obviously it is important for you to test if your answer is correct what you do you go to the original one use a calculator and say uh, to find out what that answer would have been with a calculator square root of 5 comma 4 it must give you your 0 comma 4 9 5 6 comma 2 1 if you just enter the calculator like that you can see it's giving you 0 comma 4948 but if you round off to three decimal places there it will actually give you the exact one that we got as 0 comma 495 now i hope this was of benefit to you and you can use another example that you have in your previous paper just to work on it and see and follow the steps and you will see that it is actually uh, easier now um i will encourage you to also subscribe to our youtube channel or you can um visit our social media pages so you can like them and you'll be able to be notified whenever we post some new videos we have come to the end of our lesson thank you
I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you're studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos, we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics N1, N2, N3 as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website. And trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.